Hey you! Do you feel left out that Santa only has a naughty or nice list, and for some reason completely left out the salty people? In that case, you must feel in insulted. insulted. Don't worry, we did not forget about you. We have the perfect items, comes in hoodies and t-shirts, adults and kid sizes, and if you're not into clothes, mugs, and now stickers. Only available until Saturday, November 17, limited edition design. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. So, last week, Jenna Marbles posted an acrylic pour video. Anytime Jenna does something artsy or craftsy, my little crafting demons are like, oh, this is so fun. I've been a huge fan of Jenna Marbles. She's probably one of the first channels I had ever subscribed to. And a few years ago, when I was an ETBT channel of 25,000 subscribers, I actually went all the way to Playlist Live, stood in line, and yes, I met Jenna Marbles. Hey! <laughs> Not only did I meet her, but I had her wear my hat. So a piece of Jenna is with me. Is that creepy? Yeah, it was probably a little too creepy. But it's out there now. You all know about it. Jenna, you said you loved me, but here you go challenging me. Hello, I am Jenna Marbles, also known as the girl that was a toothbrush. And I am challenging Nerdy Crafter, also known as Salty Crafter, to do a resin pour. Because I don't think she can do anything as well as I do. Because you suck! Why do you do this? Why must you make our relationship like so? Jenna. I still have the hat. <laughs> Dang damn it! And so by watching her do an acrylic pour, there's been something that I've really been meaning to try, I just wasn't sure how to do it, and that is resin pour, which is the same idea except working with slightly more flammable materials. Let's go pick up some of the stuff. Shopping time with Jackie. See my resin? Oh my god. Good thing I have a 50% coupon right behind this one. It was that one. So my guess is this is the new box. So always go for the new box. New products. Sorry, Jenna. I don't want to make the same mistakes as you. Julian, however, seemed to have order to his chaos. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. More on that at the end of the video. So I'm going to be using the Envirotex Light Resin and different kinds of paint. I'm using this green because I actually want to put the canvases that we're going to make in the bathroom downstairs. So I'm actually going to use it as decoration. So I took the same wall color as the bathroom. I also have it in little brown and Perlex Powder Gold. And I'm using MDF, I don't know, uh, can you hear me? Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to be using MDF as my pouring surface. So let's let's give that a try. I'm really nervous. I'm really good with resin, but I've never made a mess kind of craft. So that's why I'm, I'm really nervous because I have a tendency to be over messy like all crafters. And yeah, those two were no different than I am. So before we begin, this week's shout outs go to Lois Marie, CC Mags, Carrie Scully, and Katakochi. If you want to shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Twitter or Instagram anytime with any of your creations. Also, go tell Jenna to stop starting a war with me. <laughs> so the first thing we're supposed to do is prop up the piece that we're going to be using over here so that when it drips, because it's gonna get pretty messy, so we just need it to be higher so that when it drips, it falls on the table. Why do I look even more so of a mess. We're gonna do something called a dirty pour, or is it not? No, we're gonna do a clean pour. So we're gonna control where we want the colors to go. Let's do it. So I'm gonna start with the easiest color, which is just the pure gold, and put a big shiny scoop. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, let's, oh my God, don't move, don't, don't move. I think I might need more. <coughs> it's, it's safe, it's safe. Next, because I am a huge numbnut, I completely forgot to buy brown paint. So I'm just gonna mix all my primary colors. Let's just squirt a little bit of everything until we get what we want. Color theory with Nerdy Crafter. I just said I wanted to be different from Jenna, and yet here I am just kind of winging it. But you know what? Maybe it's the spirit of Julian that's with me at this time. Let's just mix a little bit of everything and hope that we get a good brown. Oh, that that red was was pretty liquidy. Let's mix that and see what we get. Well, that's purple. I'm gonna try and put some of this brown in there, and hopefully we'll, we'll just have equilibrium. I got me some mocha. Good enough. Next is opening this bucket, which is 
probably going to be a disaster. Please don't spill on me. Please don't be expired either. Ooh, still good. Now the trick is getting it in here. Uh, how do I do this? No, I can't. This is not a one person thing, or is it? I'm an independent salt shaker. I can do it. I just don't want to ruin my clothes. Come on, I got this. Oh my gosh. Rip, come on. <gasps> yes. Okay. There y'all go. Woo, got it. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I should have brought napkins. Should have brought napkins. Let's take a little break. Shout out to the dollar store for selling me already torn napkins. We have one tear over here and a tear over there. I didn't even get started. Wah! Wah! So I'm not going to take any risk and I'm going to patch these MacGyver way. There you go, buddy. All spiffy. And the last bit I'm gonna do is just white and I'm gonna squirt just a tiny itty bitty bit of yellow in there so that it's not a pure strong white. I don't want it to stand out too much. Good enough. Well, there goes a chunk in there. I guess we're gonna have texture. Jenna, I feel you now. I apologize for, uh, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Cause you suck. Now I'm going to mix the resin. By the way, you don't want to sniff resin, so you want to stay away from it. Ideally put on a mask and gloves, which I will put on in not too long. Just emptying this here. All right, here goes the second bottle. Squish. And now we just have to mix the resin until it's fully, fully blended. If you don't do it properly, what's gonna end up happening is it's just not going to harden. I did a lot of resin tutorials in the past, so if you wanna see any resin tutorials, you can check out either my channel or, or, or Skillshare. Have you ever started a project that you were very enthusiastic about and then a quarter of the way through you're like, why, why did I start this? Why did I start this? It's because of Jenna! Jenna made me do it! I blame you, 100%. I blame you, hope you're happy. Now for the next step, yeah, we got I got a little closer because my, 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 my legs are not only are my arms hurting But my legs are getting numb. I should have done this standing, but I didn't have a tall table So all right, so I'm gonna put some of the resin into the pigments and I want to get at least half a cup for each color that looks good I'm gonna mix them up and get back to you how gorgeous this looks hang on maybe you might not see here how about there look how shiny it is it is absolutely did I say gorgeous cuz I'm I mean gorgeous that's what I meant I'm, I'm saying gorgeous what else could I say? shiny pretty magnificent but yeah that's <laughs> that's the color we're getting and it's just so pretty now for the fun part the pouring that's that's what's getting me nervous I think we're gonna start with the green and just Go for it. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so nerve wracking. Might have to give up on the idea of making two, so we're just gonna go for one. So the advantage of doing a resin pour instead of acrylic is that your piece looks so shiny. Actually looks like it's glass. And the downside is that it's hella expensive. Oh my god. As you can see over here, we're starting to get cells that are developing. I mean, good. I never thought it would be that exciting. So we do have some air bubbles that we're going to get rid of, but I love this effect. I haven't put any gold yet. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of gold. My brother thought I was a responsible adult and um, gave me these. So I have no idea how to use this. Let's um, figure this out together. He did say it'll get more intense before it, it can die down. The reason we're doing this is we should be able to pop the bubbles. You could technically use just a barbecue lighter, but mine ran out, so it's supposed to make noise. I don't hear noise. Oh, there's the noise. Oh my god. <laughs> and then we can regulate it as low as we need to. All right, let's pop us some bubbles. And the last technique I wanna try, give, give, give me a second, one minute. 
is this thing. So apparently with a heat gun, I'm using a um, hairdryer, but you're supposed to use a heat gun and you're supposed to just kind of go on top of the gold and it's supposed to make it spread a little better. I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying here. We're experimenting together. So let's see if, if, if I can get it to do the doing. So I have a feeling we don't have enough resin, but I'm gonna give it a try anyways and do a dirty pour. I'm gonna pour all of them in one cup and hope that we get something that could be enough. So let's prop that stuff. Yeah, like so. Oh my god, everything is so sticky. Uh, gonna start with this and some of the green. It's so viscousy right now. Look at that. Eh, I have doubts. But what do we got to lose, right? It's not like we're losing to Jenna. <laughs> Sorry, Jenna. I'm not sorry. Oh my god, that's terrible. I definitely don't have enough resin, so I'm gonna go into my stash and use the Sophie and Toffee 2 to 1 ratio. So I need more green. Oh my god, I think I really need to hurry up because this cup has gotten really hot. And it's kind of like an ice cream. Ew. Okay, that's that's gotta go into the trash. All right, I think it's game over for, for the second one because look at that. So I've been working on the other one for about an hour and resin doesn't do well in thick coats. It just gets really hot and then gross. So second one is pretty game over. Dang nab it. I'm gonna still use that resin. Wish me luck. This goes that way. This is so nerve wracking. Oh my God. I have no idea what's going on. Don't drop it. Don't, don't drop it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll, we'll let it sit for just like 30 seconds and then we'll remove the cup. That is so gross. <laughs> I should have quit while I was ahead. That's gross. Yeah, that's going nowhere. So this um, Yoki abomination is the result of being a little too cocky. That is absolute grossness. That's for sure. So we're going to wait overnight and see what we get by morning. And then we're going to do just a little seems like I really don't know when to stop because I'm here sitting for the last five minutes using it like batter for a cake. I'm like, maybe I can save it. But you know, we have 3D over here, 3D turd. But yep, so I don't know when to stop. So I'm just gonna keep going until uh, it's been frosted. We'll see from there. You know how you're at sometimes at a movie theater and you think the movie's over, but it keeps starting again? That's, that's how I feel. So I spread it over like a cake, like so, and then I decided to take some of the Perlex powders, put it right on top, and then blow on it so that it has a kind of effect, and it really looks cool. So I figured, you know, I, I, I should show it to you because it's experiment. So if you mess up, oh. Good morning, I look like poo, but you know what? We are continuing on the road to resin pour. I, I don't know what I was gonna say. I, I want it to be something epic, but it's too early for that. This has got to be legit, probably one of the hardest videos to camera position all the time because I just don't have a studio. I don't have these cool things to hold cameras. So I'm just moving the camera and I'm like, you come, come. Come here with me. The painting is right behind me. As you can see, there is a Totoro piece over here. So what I want to do, put clear tape on it, plastify it, and then cut around the edges and place it so that it actually just looks like another piece here. Right there. So it looks like it belongs like that. We're trying to win a war or a battle. Maybe the war is still going on for me only. <laughs> Getting used to this. Stay away from the camera! Eight 
hours later. pretty happy with the results of this one. This is definitely the Julian in me that, that came out. And this one was kind of the Jenna, but last second the Julian stepped in. So I think we saved it. We definitely somewhat saved it. Don't worry, we're gonna get to peeling all this goodness right after a message from our sponsor. A huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Salty Crafter really was looking on Skillshare for how to balance salt and sugar, you know, so that she could improve herself as a person. She definitely couldn't find any courses on that just yet. So if you're not sure what Skillshare is, it's an online community of so many different online courses that can range from arts, crafts, resin, polymer clay, a little bit for all you artsy people. I know that Jazza actually has a course on there, so of course if you want to check him out, do so. A premium membership for a little less than $10 a month gives you access to unlimited courses that helps you improve your skills. One of those skills is acrylic resin paintings. I followed the tutorial by Katie Sandvik, if you're interested by that one, I'll leave the link specifically down below. Even though I was nervous, it helped me get to know the basics so I know exactly where I'm headed. Unlike Jenna, she just winged it. At least I think so. Sorry, Jenna. It looks like a piece of shit. I don't mean it. So Skillshare has offered for the first 500 people who use the link in the description box below two free months. So you can get to know the platform, see if it's something for you. And if it is, just continue. If not, well, at least you try. Alright, I know, I know what you guys want to do. You want to peel that, don't you? Let's go peel that. much for watching my little grains if you want to watch a crafty video check it out up here and if you want to watch a salty video because you need salt in them veins check it out down here until then i will see you in the next video